Would you tell me a bedtime story? A really terrific one. And a new one, please. No more of your tales about Father when he was still alive. I want a real adventure this time. Very well, Your Grace. Hmm. I wonder if you have heard this story yet. A long time ago, there was a great clash known as the War of the Reapers. A foul and terrible fiend set his sights on the human realm and sent armies of demons led by grim, gruesome reapers to conquer it. Into the fray! Never before had the world witnessed such horrid bloodshed. To end that long and tragic conflict, man forged five magical armlets in hopes of somehow containing the fiend's hellish power. It was those armlets wielded by five brave heroes that finally vanquished the fiend and his reaper lieutenants. Much time has passed, yet now England finds herself embroiled with France in a war that has raged for nigh on a century. What irony then, that I must call upon the fiend's immeasurable power to ensure that young Henry has a future beyond these troubled times. Minuo fusus forago itaque capio hoc corpus fidelis cum tui navis dominus acum. Ha! Mighty fiend and sovereign lord, long have you cried for your freedom. At long last, on this very night, you shall have it. <gasps> my, my, what a surprise this is. Enough, Bedford. I will not let you pursue this madness! Oh, won't you now? Your hero days are long over. Feeble old man! <gasps> Perhaps you should lay down your sword for good. Because you refuse to accept that, our time's gone. You were one of the five! How can you tolerate selling your soul to a monster like that? Yes, you were a dear friend once. So I will not end your life. <laughs> Tis the fiend itself! Prince Henry! What is all that noise? <gasps> what is that? the boy. The prince must not be kept from his destiny. Be gone from here. <laughs> Bifo, 
But you must stop at once! I do this all for the good of young Prince Henry. Now he shall finally reign over this world as its true king. For all eternity. <laughs> in that bag. No, Jeanne, leave it be. A noise. It's in the woods, but that is no animal.